What is up guys? We're back with another CES 2023 video and today we're going to be talking about A data. Now they had something that we really didn't see anywhere right. else on the show floor and we visited a bunch of storage companies. They actually had a USB 4 external SSD and it wasn't just one that was on the wall that we couldn't see. This one was plugged in and working. Yep. Um, this is the SE920 and it supports the latest USB 4 interface or Thunderbolt 4. Um, the speeds that we saw were just what they, you know, their the rated speed, 3,800 megabytes a second read, 3,200 megabytes a second write, and this is a portable SSD. It's <laughs> crazy. Um, again, I'm a super fast storage guy, and it was so cool to see that because again, with USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2, you're getting about 2,000 read and 2,000 mm -hmm. writes on the fastest drive. So now we're moving up to 3,800 read and 3,200 writes, um, which is really, really awesome. Again, first one we've seen. I can't yeah. wait to get one because I need the super fast uh, portable storage. Yeah. Another thing to add to that is the external enclosure kind of clicks open and clicks closed, yeah. which kind of gives you some more ventilation and kicks on a built-in fan for additional cooling. So this might be something where you, you know, you're just using it um, real lightly to maybe move some files, just real light stuff. You don't need to open it up, but if you're going to be working off of this drive quite a bit and you think, you know, you're going to be moving either large amounts of files where you're going to be having heavy reads and writes or maybe editing off of it, something like that. You might want to kick that open, let that fan kick on so that your performance uh, doesn't become thermally throttled. Yeah, now we don't know information on pricing or availability, but once we do, we will definitely let you know. But again, the only USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4 drive that we really saw at CES this year up next, uh, we have a Gen 5 NVMe SSD. Now, we did see a lot of these at yeah. the show, and this is the ADATA XPG uh, implementation here. And they had a really cool breakdown of the whole thermal setup that they have. Yeah. And they had this incredibly tiny fan um, for the, the, you know, built into the heatsink on yeah. the drive. Not only tiny, like small around, but really thin. Oh yeah, right? super it was, thin. It was, it, was, it was almost like comically small. Yeah, so we don't know how loud this was. Now this didn't have a demo, so we didn't right. get to see a demo. Um, and they didn't mention. Oh, they did mention the controller. So it is the Silicon Motion SM twenty five zero eight. So this is the first SSD that we've seen based on this. The other drives that we saw at the show were based on the Fizon controller. Right. Um, and this one actually appears at least on the rated speeds or their speeds that they're quoting here. 14,000 megabytes a second read, 12,000 megabytes a second write. So again, super, super fast Gen 5 speeds. You know, that even though it does have the fan, the actual heat sink wasn't all that large. No. So maybe the Silicon Motion one, the controller is going to not as right, hot. That's cool. Right. Um, because again, all the ones based on the Fizen controller, they are all the heat sinks that we've seen are very, very, very much, big. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this is going to be uh, available in capacities up to eight terabytes. Probably we'll get one and two terabytes at launch with four and possibly eight. I would assume right. coming later. Um, again, no word on pricing or availability with most of the Gen 5 stuff. We've at least been seeing, you know, Q2. So that's probably what we're expecting here. Um, but I really like this drive and I'm super excited for super, super yeah. fast storage. Um, and the last thing was their Fusion 1600 Titanium digital power supply. And one, this is a pretty large power supply, but. Yep. The thing that really caught my attention on this was the dual 16 pin connectors Correct. on this. So um, for future uh, yeah, NVIDIA pop. graphics cards, yeah. or if you wanted to get something like the Galax Hall of Fame card that has the two, right. um, this has two of the 16 pin connectors, which is really, really cool. Yeah. On top of that, um, as the name implies, this is a digital power supply. So there's a connector um, that comes off the power supply that you plug into your motherboard, and then that plugs into their software. And we both thought the software was yeah, pretty in-depth for 
I, I mean, we've seen some things where you can monitor certain voltages and things like that, mm -hmm. but this gave a real time readout of like how much power your system's pulling. Right. Um, you could easily with one click change it from uh, single rail to multi rail, which is really, really cool. Uh, you could monitor things. You could do so many adjust different things. Adjust voltages. Yeah, I like thought that was really nice. Adjust voltages, like all these things within the software, um, <clears throat> which we thought was super super cool. Um, yeah, I really like this power supply. So if you need like a heavy duty power supply, and then the fact that if you want to monitor everything as well within the software, um, again, this is the Fusion 1600 Titanium. Just like everything we saw at XPG, no word on. Uh, pricing or availability oh no we do have pricing on this one um now that i look at my notes so this is going to be 749 and it's going to be available in february so pretty cool on uh that one and uh that wraps it up for a data and xpg here at ces 2023 now if you have any questions about either the two drives or the power supply go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And we will have a link in the description where you can check out all of our CES 2023 content. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and we'll catch you guys in the next one.